We're shaking people. Back with another reaction, and back with some more solo Morton Harkett. We're going to listen to another tune from his 1995 album Wild Seed, and we're going to listen to East to More. I'm a historian. Um, I promise I won't turn this into a verbose historical lecture. But East Timor, um, if you don't know, in the early 18th century it became a Portuguese colony. It's an island, Timor. Um, now fast forward all the way uh, to 1975 when Portugal was still controlling um, uh, the territory of Timor. In, I think it was 74, there was a coup in Portugal that led to political instability and a lot of its colonial possessions, um, which is always a funny phrase. Uh, in any case, um, this led to a civil war, essentially, in what is now East Timor. Um, uh, a faction emerged victorious. They declared independence for East Timor. Shortly after that, the Indonesian military basically just said, oh, well, we, our assistance has been requested, and they invaded, um, and, you know, quickly crushed what was the sort of independence movement and any armed resistance to the occupation. And for the next 24 years, um, they basically did the uh, Indonesian leaders, like Suharto uh, in particular, but they claimed um, complete dominion over the island of Timor and by East Timor, and they called it like a, it was, I forget the name of it, but they turned it into a province of Indonesia. Um, and so ultimately there was a great deal of repression, political violence, like, you know, deliberate, like, terrorizing of civilian populations, and again, an absolute decimation of any form of civil resistance and certainly um, armed resistance to Indonesian rule. Um, ultimately, it came under increasing international attention and international pressure. Eventually, and ultimately, you know, there was a point along the way where they, um, you know, tried to uh, show through like a basically a sham referendum that, oh, the people of East Timor want us here. There were not only like, you know, intentional like starvation and those types of, you know, not offering services and again trying to bleed out any resistance, but there were like full like genocidal massacres. Um, you know, where hundreds of people were killed um, who were like protesting peacefully against the occupation. So by the end of the 90s, um, eventually uh, Indonesian authorities sort of allowed um, a referendum and it came back overwhelmingly in support of um, independence. Even then they sent in troops again and there was more like violent repression. Eventually um, it was recognized as an independent sovereign state in I think 2002. It's one of the most recent now sort of universally um, recognized uh, sovereign states. Um, to come into existence. Um, you know, issues related to their relations with um, Indonesia remain ongoing. But yeah, for 24 years it was a very brutal occupation and it took place during the, it was still ongoing during the time that this album, Wild Seed, was written and composed. So, one would expect a song called East Timor written, um, you know, 94, 95, published in 95, um, that we will be talking about the atrocities, the oppression, the human loss, um, you know, the lives that were stamped out as part of, um, you know, a nation state asserting control over territory, and the way in which regular folk, especially like indigenous communities or people who are on the margins of these large state enterprises, um, they're the ones who suffer the most. They're always on the front line of human tragedy, and ultimately, you know, again, to, to play off um, of Brodsky tune, you know, there are people who read about these things, even people who on some level do genuinely care and wish that there weren't atrocities in the world. It's like, man, that's unfortunate. Well, anyway, I'm going to go back to, you know, my own life and I'm going to care about things in my own life. And, you know, that's not to say that everyone has to become an activist, but the idea that, um, you know, there are a lot of people who just read one blurb about these things which are happening in which, you know, families, like generations of lives are being destroyed or at least like grossly repressed. Um, and, you know, that people can feel comfortable while that's happening. Um, I think artists like Morton, as I'm beginning to understand, as well as a lot of punk rock groups that I listen to, um, you know, they want us to know about these problems because the first step to solving anything is knowing that it exists and trying to figure what the most um, appropriate response and fair um, solution would be. So, um, with all that in mind, I won't talk anymore. Let's get to it. This is East to More by Morton Harkett from his 1995 album Wild Seed. It has kind of a 
Southeast Asian feel. Yeah. trees are Cut them down and plant coffee beans. Build no schools, construct no road. Mark them as fools, let ignorance rule. Leave them stranded on their island. Treat them to the tune of silence. Red is the cross that covers ashes. somewhere in Southeast Asia. It has that sort of feel. Um, yeah, a really cool tune sonically. Lyrically, I do have to hear some more. I do think on some level, especially with that line about the graves, where again, you know, they're like monuments to some of these massacres um, that have now been um, established. Um, so I'm wondering if, you know, that is a reference, you know, either in general or maybe specifically to a particular place. Um, but yeah, it feels like some of what I was talking about is maybe relevant, but I think it, you know, I think it's more personal than that. I think it's, you know, I think there's layers that I have yet to um, pick up on, but do let me know what you think of this one. Uh, shout out to those of you um, who were here for the solo Morton Harkett. I wasn't sure exactly what to expect when I went into it, um, but I'm really enjoying this journey. It's a different journey than AHA, uh -huh, uh, but it's one that I'm here for. So let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.